and log in. And then uh, you want to go to that domain name, click on the domain name. And it's going to have something where it will say uh, transfer DNS to another host, something along those lines. You'll want to click on that. And so um, I'm going to click on this because I already have it transferred over. It's going to give you two boxes here that you need to transfer. Uh, what you do is you get your new HostGator accounts, name servers, and you want to copy that and you want to put it the first one in the first box and the second one in the second box and then you click save changes and it will it can take up to they say 24 hours for it to take effect and so once that gets transferred over um, I'll be right back with you okay so now what you need to do is you need to go back to your host gator control panel and your email address that you got from them will have the link that you need to go into the control panel and put in your username and password and then it will take you to a screen like this and what you need to do next is you need to click uh, scroll down and click add on domains and then what you're going to do is you're going to enter your new domain name and what you're going to type is you're going to type the exact domain that you had purchased, which was the video for me, the videoblogger.com. The videoblogger.com. Okay, now just hit the tab key. It will automatically populate the next two. What this um, this one is is the subdomain FTP username, and then the document group. It it's going to actually create its own folder called the videoblogger.com put in a password, verify the same password, and click Add Domain. Alright, the add-on domain, thevideoblogger.com has been created, and that is the end of this tutorial. Thanks!